All right, bubble effect bonus video. Here's how to do it in DaVinci Resolve. And the kind of effect I'm talking about is this effect right here, which allows me to address the camera and also show something that's happening on my screen at the same time with a nice circle crop. All right, let's take a look at how to do this. We've previously shown how we do this in our own videos using Adobe Premiere and using OBS, which makes it suitable for live streaming, although without the nice uh, kind of shrinking effect. And I also want to show you how to do this in DaVinci Resolve, because if you don't want to pay uh, a lot of money for Adobe Premiere and you're not afraid of super, super advanced video editing, then DaVinci Resolve is a great free alternative. And so here we go. Let's say we have our timeline here. I'm in the edit page. This is my screen video where I recorded my screen. And then I also have the live portion of that, which I'm going to bring in here. So that's my live video. I'm just going to trim this here. And in fact, hold on, let me, let me not trim it. And instead, let's say that I am addressing the camera. I'm going to cut, I'm going to use the blade tool to cut on this position. This is where I want to go from full screen live down into the bubble, right? So at the beginning of that cut is where I want that effect to start. So I select this and I go into the color tab. And this is where I will do the masking. So if you are thinking, oh, I'm going to go into fusion and do the masking there, it will basically just fry your computer if you do this in a longer clip. So in the color tab is where we can do this without um, our poor chipset being eaten alive. So here, I'm actually not going to add an extra node. I'm just going to do it right on this node. Next, I'm going to add a qualifier to mask this out. So that's usually we are seeing the curves first here. I want to go to my qualifier. I'm going to get a circle qualifier. Place this here. I'm going to shrink down. That's kind of the fuzziness to zero because I want a sharp edge. And then I want to align this. Oh, that's too big. I want to basically set this to the size I ultimately want it to be, which would be something like this and align it. And while we're at it, to see the actual output of this, let's right click into this node area here and add an alpha output and then connect blue to blue. And that gives us the output where we, where we see the actual mask. Next up, we need to keyframe this. Now, usually we have the waveforms showing here for our color correction. There's also the keyframing here. And we want to keyframe corrector number one. So let's activate keyframing first and then size this to be larger than the canvas, larger than the screen. Then we go a few frames forward using right key to do this, right? Just go a few frames forward. And then let me just zoom out, grab one of these corners and bring it in again like this. And here now we have the keyframes as we can see here. So now I can go back into edit view and let's zoom in a bit. Now, if I play this clip, this is what we get, All right? So this is really struggling to record my screen and do this at the same time. Usually it's not quite as slow, but you get the idea. So then what I want to do is I want to go to the point at which I'm going to use the navigation keys again. I'm going to go to the point at which this um, effect essentially ends. There we go. And select this clip, open the inspector, and then we'll do the motion. So on transform, I want to keyframe zoom and position. And let's open the keyframe view right here. So we can see a keyframe has been set. Then I, again, I go a bunch of frames forward, open the transformation controls and basically place this thing wherever I want it to, oops, wherever I want it to be. So that would be somewhere like this. And here we can see this happening here. We can also add easing if we want, but those are the basic steps. So now we have the clip going from the full screen with the bubble effect shrinking down into the corner. So in DaVinci Resolve, this is the best way I found to do it. 
apply the mask in the color tab and then do the transformation in the edit view. All right, so those are a couple of ways in which you can do the much requested and much asked about bubble effect that we use in our Thrive Themes tutorials. And if you have other ways to do this and other things you can recommend, other tools and techniques, then please let us know in the comments below.